that uh, intro was just about the longest ever, but uh, the, the chairlift that goes over the state fair just seemed like a perfect overview to get a get a feel for everything that's going on um, at the fair. We were really hungry when we were on it, <laughs> so I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> well, one of one of the things that we decided at the fair to go on the chairlift was to see the different food food vendors, see what we wanted to mm -hmm. eat, just looking down and get a feel for where, where things were. Yeah. So, what was memorable for you about the State Fair? Well, probably the thing that's always going to be memorable for, for me about the State Fair now is that we saw the um, rabbits that our two red rabbits came from from their um, breeder breeder so yeah so it was really nice to see those and kind of get an idea for what a good rabbit would look like by looking at some really nice rabbits and then seeing seeing that she had some available and that we could go get them and I was really excited about that when we when we found out that that yeah that was the rabbits we saw so mm -hmm. yeah I was excited I uh I remember the uh that angora goat that sneezed on me <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of kind of funny it was funny <laughs> I think the food was better at yeah, the state fair. Yeah, it was fair. better at the state fair. Better than the county fair. Yeah, yeah. Although th I think there was more variety actually at the county fair. We we kind of could have picked other things at the county fair than what we got, so might have had better luck. And I I did like my strawberry lemonade at the county fair really well. That was good. Yeah, yeah. I think I had two or three of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What was your favorite part though, aside from rabbits? That was my favorite part. That was your favorite part? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, they didn't have the Nigerian goats or um, the, the, the lambs and things that they did at the county fair. So I was a little disappointed just in the variety of animals on the day we were there. I, I like the animals that we saw, but I had hoped to see a lot more varieties of animals. And it seemed like actually the county fair we saw more varieties of animals. Um, other than cattle, there was a lot of cattle there, which was interesting. But we, we probably, cattle's kind of a big thing. <laughs> so. We didn't really get to see many horses at the uh, county fair. No, no, it was fun to see the horses. So. I think the pigs were cuter at the state fair. Yeah. Yeah. There were some really cute pigs there.
Snuffleupagus. <laughs> hey! Don't need to do that. No need to be rude. You make funny faces.
they're giving each other little kisses. They were giving each other little kisses. Little funny kisses. Yeah. These are the same kind. It's been a while since I've actually been to the State Fair. Um, but it was fun to go back with you. Now we have the fiber festival to look forward to. <laughs> Every time we, we do an event, Wendy comes up with another event that we have to go to. <laughs> I really want to go to the fiber festival because I'm, I'm kind of interested now that I've been looking into the rabbits and different things um, that I, I did want to kind of have two breeds of rabbits and I've been interested in in doing some drop spindle spinning anyways and so I'm curious to see if I could do that and then if I could would I like doing it and because Angora rabbits are really sweet gentle rabbits that you can just sit and hold in your lap and pet and pet and pet because they love being groomed with their long fur and everything so uh, I think that would be kind of fun and Maybe maybe you should get some of the fur and just see if you like. Yeah. Well, obvi first, obviously, I would do that first, okay. and that would. Yeah, but it would be fun to see what people are doing with that. I I do think that a lot of people mix fur, different kinds of fur like wool and things, in with their angora rabbit. So um, that would be another thing for me to think about is that we don't necessarily have sheep or goats or anything that augment fur. So, so at the uh, fiber festival would you be looking for breeds of rabbits or or things to actually actually buy or would you mostly want to see what people can make out of that kind of stuff or? Well I kind of know what they can make. I mean I, I think I would be very interested in small looms and drop spindle type work and things like that. So like the equipment? The equipment, yeah. Okay. And then obviously I always love looking at the animals. That's no matter what I'm doing, if there's animals that is drop down my favorite part of it. <laughs> Hands down. Okay.
Well, the fair was a lot of fun. We couldn't have picked a better day as far as weather. Yeah, although um, it was really hot. It was very hot. But there were some clouds, so it was just, it was, it wasn't as day. hot, wasn't yeah. as hot as it was supposed it to be. It was supposed to be really hot. Yeah, now it's cooling off and I'm wishing that we could have had an extra couple of weeks of heat. Mm. Yeah, getting into fall. Yep. What Fr is this? Fried okra. Fried okra. It's <laughs> <laughs> been I like it. I love it. <laughs> More fair food. A little bit better this time, I think. This is one of their first times racing around here, so we're going to help them out with a great big three, two, one, and go. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, go. And they are up. This little guy seems to be sleeping in its feed bag. Very convenient if it wakes up and wants a snack. Two bunnies in the shot. Fiber. Fiber, it's what's for dinner.
All right, now, <clears throat> on Ivy Acres Homestead, we're all about healthy eating. So these are <laughs> deep-fried deep Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> After a long day at the fair, we're kind of tired, and the pigs are too.